what you are going through, God will make a way. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. For 30 years, I have suffered the sickness. And as we are singing and praising God right now, she felt something just leave with her body. And now she is free. There's no pain. Come on, somebody! you quiet for a very long time today you say hey 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 so that is so that is with that wife me a make better play no kata. Hey, come here, Some song in Ewe that we can all dance. You are our David, you are the David of our time. Something everybody can get up and dance. Are you are you choosing a song for him? No, we want a song that everybody can dance. No, I don't like that one. That's, that, no, I don't like that one. There are a lot of airway songs that everybody can dance. Let, no, no, let him choose for himself. Otherwise, all of you go and sit down. All right, look, the I, song they, they, they suggested right now, you know, I no, told I you. I like to listen. Oh, oh, okay. It's one of my favorites as well. Yes, I like to listen. Okay. Joanna sing a mouth, I think it's too it's too high for me. Joanna sing a mouth to the men. Let's all dance. Have you no machio? Joanna sing a mouth to the men. Machio, machio.
also a sign of humility. God bless you. Now sit down. Make your seat. I am speaking to you today on a subject God gave to me many years ago. I have written many books about that subject. Now those of you who are speaking what I'm preaching, I'm very sensitive. Anybody who is speaking what I'm preaching, bring the person here so we can beat the person. Hallelujah. Amen. I am speaking to you on a subject I've entitled The Dangers of Offense. How many of you here have been offended before? Somebody lied about you. Somebody gossiped about you. Somebody cheated you. Somebody hated you. And somebody fought you. And you got offended. Brothers are fighting brothers. For four, like the one, for four. It is only in Adidome that brothers have never fought brothers before. Adidome Peko, no vin to me, what you know, vin to go. Kings are fighting kings. If you all let the one, please, you it is only in Adidome that kings don't fight kings. Adidome Peko, if you all let the one, please, you Husband and wives are fighting. As strong as you press on your knowledge, you know. It is only in Adidome that husbands and wives don't fight. Adidome, as strong as you press on your knowledge, you know. Unfortunately, oh, Vloya, pastors are also fighting pastors. Oh, so for the draw one close, so for it is only in Adidome. Adidome, pe that pastors don't fight. Yeah, pastors. So for my wife, close, so for. What are you offended about? I came to speak to you today. The people of Adidome. On the dangers of offense. Because Jesus was about to ascend to heaven. And he gathered his disciples and we've gathered you here today. And he spoke to them in Luke chapter 17. Verse 1, 2, 3, 4. Who will sacrifice to read for me? Who like reading it? Anybody wants to sacrifice to read? Why is Pastor Victoria? Come and read for me. Pastor Victoria, I just love the young lady. Very beautiful girl. <laughs> Open King James version for her on your mobile phone. Me who? Can somebody do that quick? Yes. Yesterday it was Dr. Koviaban who opened his version for He'll talk me to read. Okay. He's watching the program now. Kofi Aban is watching this. Luke chapter 17. From verse 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Shall we hear the word of God? Luke 17, from verse 1 to 4. Then he said to the disciples. Then who said to the disciples? Then who said to the disciples? That's my Jesus is speaking to you today. Jesus will speak to you today. Yeah, 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 so, so God is about to speak to you today. Then it is impossible. 
that no offenses should come. That it is impossible. Hold oh, somebody and say it is impossible. It is impossible. Just when it is impossible that no offenses will come. Somebody will lie about you. Somebody will gossip about you. Somebody will cheat on you. Somebody will hate you for nothing. But woe unto him through whom they do come. But woe unto him through whom offense comes. Tell somebody if you have offended me before you are in trouble. Whether you are my brother or my sister. Whether you are my husband or my wife. Whether you go to the same place with me or not. If you have offended me before, you are in trouble. It will be better for him if a milestone were hung around his neck. It will be better. Whoever has offended you, it will be better if a milestone is hung around their neck and and he were thrown into, into the, the sea. Hold oh, somebody say, if you have offended me, get ready. You'll be thrown into the sea. Not, not just the, the river. river. Not just the river. Oh, not God. just the river. Oh, if you have offended me oh, before, you will not just be thrown into the oh, river. Oh, you will not just be thrown into the river voter. You will be thrown into the sea. Tell somebody, can you only see how the small river has carried you? The small dam they open in the vote, see how it has carried you. So if you are thrown into the sea, ever, ever now, you are finished. Then that he should offend one of these little ones. That he should offend one of these little ones. Take heed to yourself. Take heed to yourself. It means, it means, it means be careful. If your brother sins no, against you, sweetheart, you've gone ahead of me, Pastor Victoria. I'm the preacher, not you. Pastor Re 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 Victoria, I'm preaching on offenses. Don't offend me. I did, you didn't hear what I tell her. I said, I'm preaching on offense. Don't offend me. You only came to read. Victoria, I said, Goma. Maybe no care. Take heed to yourself. It means be careful. That's what be careful. Be very careful. Be very vigilant. Be very sensible. Be very, sensible. be very smart. Open your eyes. Don't just walk around. Look at people's faces. If they don't like you, be very careful. Take heed. Continue, sweetheart. Now I'm forgiving you. Can continue. If your brother sins against you, yes. rebuke him. <laughs> and if he repents, forgive him. If your brother does what? No, brother. None of your one who can. If your brother does what? None of your one who can. Sin against you, you should do what? You should you forgive him. Tell them that in their way yourself, what you said. But I go by none of you who are. None of you who are. None of you who Tell them again. Has somebody offended you before? Yes, How did you feel like? I, I feel know. very bad. When you see them, what happened to you? I sometimes it disturbs me. Yes. But Bible says, Jesus said, if your brother offends you, Seven times in one day, forgive them. Tell somebody it's not easy. That's why it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. The person who wants your seats. The person who wants your kingdom. The person who wants your throne. The person who wants your church. The person who wants your land. The person who wants your wife. The person who wants your husband. The person who wants your business. The person who will destroy you. It's not easy to forgive. And Jesus said, if they, for, if they sin against you seven times. seven times in one day, 
Mama Victoria, SSL. SSN. SSN. It's difficult. And you know, SSN. If they sin against you seven times in a day, forgive them. No jagology was the address, but I can't check out. Continue on. And if he sins against you seven times in a day, and seven times in a day returns to you saying, I repent, you shall forgive him faith and duty. You shall forgive them. Now, guess what I've been talking about? In verse 5, the disciples asked Jesus Christ to do them a favor if he want them to forgive their enemies. Christopher, this one, now, Pierre, Christopher, now, one, and then, you're not going to give you not to invoke. Okay, guess what the request was from the apostles. In Luke chapter 17, verse 5, let read what the apostles said. And the apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. <laughs> Apostle says, if you want us to forgive our enemies, please our faith. explain to somebody. If you want us to forgive our enemies, increase our faith. If you want us to forgive our enemies, increase our faith. When Jesus walked on the water, the apostles didn't want their faith to be increased. They didn't when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, I believe they were heirs. They say, Yes, If you want us to forgive our enemies, then you better when Jesus turned the water into wine, I can use to throw. Aha, and she will throw. Aha, Elikem, they were comfortable with it. Elikem, they judge now. They didn't want their faith to be increased. God, you know, He's the King of Kings. In the Lord of Lords, Lord. in the beginning and the end, in the Alpha and Omega. You know, He's got the whole world in His hands. I'm talking. But the Jesus who healed the sick. In fact, I believe those people that followed Jesus, they were always. When they were following him and he was doing the miracle, Joe, well, let's see. Oh, my dear. 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 Offenses. 
It has destroyed homes. Ekba afo. It has destroyed marriages. Ekba, it's wonderful. It has destroyed relationship. Ekba, katodo. It has destroyed friendship. Ekba, it has made enemies out of friends. The spirit of offenses have destroyed kingdoms. The wars we have in the world today, the land dispute we have today, the envy we have today, the enemies we have made today, these are the result of offenses. Ask somebody, what are you offended about? Who has offended you? Who lied about you? Who gossiped about you? Who cheated on you? Who looked down and put somebody who has offended you? And what has offended you? Offenses, number one. They are traps of the enemy. They are traps of the enemy. Who has been trapped by offense before? Who, who, who has been offended about something before? You see later, I realize you are stupid. Who is married here for more than 10 years? Wave your hand, let me see. I've been, I've, I've been married for 33 years. I've been stupid several times. I say I have been stupid several times in the my one, marriage. How many of you have been there before? Where certain things you got even worried, offended about, you sit later and realize you're a bushman. And I know you can't On the day of my honeymoon, my wife called me a villager. I was a 28 year old man. I was in London. London. My friends was around. Everybody want to eat Chinese. I said, I want to eat cake. cake. And my wife looked at me. He said, Nene, why do you believe like a bush, my villager, like that? Then a maid of honor. I lean maid of honor. She said, Nene, Dodo wa villager. Nene, Dodo wa vi confirmato. Then I look at my wife and say, Barbara, Dodo wa and a kwape who are more villagers. Ye bon kume ye be ya be be, Dodo wa play kwape me. Gana ye kenya confirma. I've destroyed the honeymoon. Honeymoon I have destroyed the honeymoon. Honeymoon Who want to eat cake? Ameka be ya du kokoe. Some foolish people say we want to eat cake. Ama yo iko tagbo na be ya du. So I went to eat cake with my friends. Yes, I do kokoe. Your wife is and my brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters couldn't believe how I was angry. And they went with my wife to go and eat Chinese. And when we came back to the hotel. hotel in United Kingdom. My wife dressed, buffed and dressed like Chinese. And me too, I went to lie on the bed like Kenki. And I said, can we do the thing? She said, what thing? Give the Lord a shout. I'm looking at myself now, 33 years ago. How was was I tell somebody how many times have you missed it? How many times have you missed it? You're, the things you are offended yeah, 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 about, yeah, the yeah, things yeah. you are worried about, yeah, the yeah, things yeah, you are yeah, fighting yeah. about, you do not need it like this. And I know you can elect to cool and today, may you know, fam. Rich men get offended. A gato, you could be Unfortunately, poor people also get offended. Oh, the people get offended. I'm making you a Unfortunately, younger people also get offended. 
And babies get offended. They will bite your breast. I've seen babies. Who has had a baby bite their breast before? The baby bite your breast. Small baby. Babies offend. What are you offended about? Number two, Evelia, offenses will make you lose your authority. Nenyepe America go let you ah na be jidudu muse la siwa abuna. Put someone say, have you lost your authority? Muse la siwa de abu ko. Somebody respected you. Amere drop bu bu. Somebody look up to you. Amere le ukombe nyamega. One day because of your position, dake let the the person spoke to the person in the way that you shouldn't speak to the person. Ufunu na miela moi keme chao. And from that day, to bangwe magia, you lost the person. Oh, I believe all of us seated here today. There are some people in our life that even though we say, eh, Baba, now see how you lie. You see, it's my foolish man. I'm a role, my agbeme. Oh, what come to your tiga? Can let me out of my grandma. Ella, that's how did you speak? Why you got offended? I live who know I can do you go. Offenses come from the devil. You are offended about nothing. Oh, I told you, Kulen, and I can't you don't know who will bury you tomorrow. You don't know who will be at your bedside tomorrow. You don't know who will feed you tomorrow. And for all you know, best friends can become worst enemies. The enemy knows how to destroy your home. Talk like a clolo from today. Detox yourself from every spirit of offense. Lift up yourself. Be free with yourself. Self-care. 